Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the third episode of Perch Pro 5. It's a new day and there are two more very important points to be handed out in the end of the day. At the moment Team Sporting have one point after catching more than 200 perch on the first day. While the big fish point is held by Elix Ganki with a total of 142 centimeters. Very impressive. Who will get the points for today? Will someone go for big fish on top water? Let's get this day rolling and find out. Today is a new day. We need some big ones today. Yeah. Not easy to catch up with Gunky, but... There are 50s around here as well, so... Oh yeah. We'll do our best. Rig it up and go. Rig it up and go. Uh, we are going for the numbers at first. Gonna do the same spot for a while and see how it goes. And then, see uh... if you can find some, with some of the schools with some little bigger fish. Trying to get a top water today too. Yeah, you can get a little bit water. bigger top water. It's a little bit cloudy right now here in the morning, but it's going to be it gets much, much warmer today, as we'll see. It should probably be a good, good advantage for us. I bet the perch are going to feed even more, so yeah. I think it's going to be crazy today. It looks like the sporting guys are on fire today as well. It'll be very exciting to see if they can produce the same crazy result two days in a row. It's eight o'clock in Perch Pro 5. And this is first cast of the day. Let's hope the perch are home. So it's gonna have a fun and relaxing day on the water. The second team to hit the water are CWC fishing team with Ada Morre and Evert Ostam, who are also fishing in the north of Sweden. They did really good at the first day, caught both many and big perch, but unfortunately not good enough to score any points. Better luck today, guys. Adam and Evert sure know how to catch a lot of perch and they also have a pretty good chance to catch three really big fish and get really dangerous in this competition. We'll see. They too. Let's get it. We're gonna Let's rock it. Get them! So we fish the edge down. Edge is like this. What's the depth? Four Cranky meters. Cranky X depth. Cranky X depth. First cast, roll out, day two, Perch Pro, season five. That was a lot of words. Fish on! Kidding. Hechten Barsch! <laughs> but that can be a first cast, fish on! Cranky X, it's not a point fish, but for you, all you fishermen out there, this lure catch fish. So today new place. Yeah, Mark. Heading for small rivers. Yeah. And we have a big weather change today. So yes. we hope that the fish are a little bit more active in the river. Yeah, and the river should react uh, faster to small change like this because a uh, little bit of rain last night. Yeah. Heavy wind, temperature is uh, dropping. Yeah. And now it's going to come down and go back to yeah. sunny weather by the end of the day. Yeah. So um, it should be good. Good opportunity be good. to catch uh, active fish today. Yeah. At least on the paper. Yeah. <laughs> Another team fishing in Holland are Team Fox Rage Salmo. What do you guys have cooking on the stove for us for today? So the wind uh, is picking up, so I think the, the lakes are not an option anymore. So we will head to a, a river, to your home uh, river, yes. actually. To my home ground, yes. It will be a totally different day as yesterday, I think. Yesterday was uh, only sun and 35 degrees, so I think the river is the best option now and we have to go for the big fish point. Okay, so let's go for the big fish. Yes. Interesting, both teams down in Holland are going to fish smaller rivers due to the heavy wind. We'll see if it's a winning strategy. Up in north of Sweden, Team Sporting are starting to catch the first fish of the day. Today's first, 31 centimeters. We're on. First click of the day. Now we found the fish. They keep on flying, baby. This one ate the tail. Cheese light with the brown china. Key bump is the shit. Take the red goat this time. I like to cut mine a little bit with the scissor. I take the jig. Cut a little bit like this, put the jig on, fits really nice, be like this. It's a good one. 
close to 40. I don't think it's uh, he's really 40, but let's check. Him. And I'm hooked up as well. Double hookup. This is a good fish. This is a good fish. 38. They need to grow bigger. And this one is uh, maybe 30. Actually, it's exactly 30. Stefan and Christian are off to a good start with a few decent fish right away. Not too far away, Adam and Evert also found a school of good sized perch. We better fucking net this fish actually. Because this is a big one. This is one of our top three today. This is a big one. This has to be a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a giant. Oh, in the bag, bro. This one is a beautiful fish. There we go. First fish over 40. It's on the piglet shad, and this is a beauty. We started this morning, uh, Adam fishing deep on the slopes. I always start on the shallows and on the edge. And we find out pretty soon that all the active fish was on the deeper parts. And I switched also to, uh, to soft baits, piglet shad, and try to catch the uh, big ones. The big fish is on the deeper water because Adam just caught a 40 centimeter perch. So now we both fish in that area. When you do a uh, search the fish like this, one in the shallows with cranks and one in the deeper part, you really find fast the fish. As we fish always in a team, Adam and I, we never fish with the same lure in the beginning because then you have more types of water to cover and you find out pretty soon where the fish is hiding. And now we know in this area where the fish is. Yeah. And we find them. Nice one. Uh, yeah, it looks like no. it. No, oh, it's off, it's just off. Stop, stop, yeah. stop, stop. Drop. I saw that fish on the, on the side imaging. They're up here. Push them off. Tail grabber. So, let's start. It's the third episode of Perch Pro. Now we are trying to get some top water action. When we arrive on a spot like this, the first thing uh, we're gonna do is to use uh, really active fishing, so top water first. It's, um, uh, it will be the first uh, technique that we use, and then after we switch to more uh, slower um, technique, like uh, jigging, or we go under the surface and try to see if there's less active fish. Maybe there's active fish also, but they don't want to come on, on the surface. But first, easy fish on top water, that's what you shall do. You see, Fred, we have some spectators around. <laughs> they are spying on us, <laughs> trying to get our techniques. No, we're telling nothing. It's 8.30 in the morning. I start with a new riser bait. It's a complete new concept top water lure, and I hope we can get some exciting top, up, top water blow ups on that one. Oh wow, that's a seriously cool bait, man. Kind of like a wobbler, but well, they turned it sort of upside down and the perch have certainly not seen that one before, that's for sure. The broken and falling, damned old souls been sent to burn. Nowadays they've been calling, telling me soon gonna be my turn. Head down, <sighs> oh no, it came off. Dang it. I'm so sorry, Mark. That was a giant. Fuck it. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's crazy. That's a keeper. Fuck it. Mark just lost a big one. And uh, I make a small keeper, but it's good. Beginning the day like this with some action. That's good. Uh, oh, yeah, yes. 30. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you. Not the kind we search, but it counts. Speechless about the fish. I just lost one cast before. Forget about it. The next one is there. Yeah. Next top water action. Too bad you lost that one, Mark. That would definitely have been the biggest topwater fish so far in the competition. 
and it could have made a huge difference in the results. Let's hope you get another chance. Oh, big one. Going for the swing. 34. Nice fish. 34 centimeters. Piglet Chad. It's a pointer. Back you go. Bam. Bam. On fire. <laughs> nice event. It came off and boom, fish right away. Yeah. And I think it's big. You think? Yeah. Oh, it's not a giant, but still. Soon, nine o'clock, and the teams already have some pretty nice fish in the book. Down in Holland, Fred and Mark are going for revenge on that big topwater perch they just lost on the racer bait. They really want that topwater point. Finally, a top water fish on the hook. Good job, Elix Janki. So, first landed top water fish of the day. Not the size I lost, but anyway, it's a keeper. Let's measure this one quick and go back in the water with the top water. This one is 35, 35 centimeter perch release, and next one. So this one was number two on top water. I hope we get some bigger ones. Early bird gets the worm, they say. And all the three teams fishing at the moment have had some nice action in the first hour. That includes team sporting. I don't think it's that big for this one. Totally hammered it. Oh, it's a nice one though. Nice fish, nice perch. Oh, look at that, they're just sitting right up here in the lip. Brown shiner. G-bomb, look like small bait fish. Nice perch, get mama. A decent one at least. I'm still going with the red ghost. This is starting to look like the one yesterday. No, no black left, so there's so much fish here. 36, let it go yeah. back. So let's grab a bigger one with this one. Yep, fish on. Another giant for the keeper. Yo! Slowly moving up. One more keeper on the Daraku. There. Okay, let's check this one. 32. Bye bye. Three fish. Not the size we need. Yeah, but. We're on it. Yeah. We, we work lost on some it. good ones. We work on it. And a total three. 97 total for the hour. 97, Fred? Yep. Yep, that could be more. Yeah, but it's, it's a start. We yeah, are, it's a start. We are on some fish. Yeah. So we just need to get focus. Yep. Let's look active. Yep. Let's do it. Yep. Okay, Adam. What's the number on your clicker? Six. So we have 10 fish. The longest ones. 40. Yeah, 34. 34. And 33. And we only fish for half an hour. If we can keep up that line, that's an average of 20 fish, 20 fish per hour. Man, we're smoking. Keep on hammering. Lots of action so far. After only one hour of fishing, Team Sporting have caught both the most and biggest fish. But wait a minute. It feels like something is missing. Ah, must be the fly guys. Where the heck are they? Ah, there they are. Time to wake up. Good morning. Hey, Flipping Beauty. Bright sunshine. It's nine o'clock. Get up. He's dead. <laughs> it's alive. That's good. Got a big day today. 
Morning guys. Mission Team Fly <laughs> Racing is on fire. Hells yes. We decided to uh, take a late start. Yeah. Change uh, something up. And we're going back to the same place as yesterday. We can't give that up. We know how good it can be. Yeah. And hope it was just sort of a something wrong yesterday. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try the night fishing. Or yeah. at least fish into the night. Yeah, so our plan is to start <laughs> around 11 and fish 10 hours from then. Yeah. Now let's eat and get going. Go to the dentist, kids. Uh, uh, beat. Mm. Oh. Oh, he's not easy. He's not easy to be a to have as a teammate. I'm way easier. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're saying stupid. <laughs> yeah, I think we're doing quite okay so far, uh, result-wise. Oh. I think we got the top water point, the number <laughs> point. The I think we have all the points today. Yeah. Uh, we're staying at the uh, Sörbyn Turism and Conference, a really nice place with a hotel and a bunch of cabins up here in the north of Sweden. And we have a really nice lake just outside the cabin here uh, called Vitresket. Mm. And it's actually also a really good perch lake. Um, perch and char. There was actually a 61 and a half centimeter perch caught <laughs> there last year uh, by a guy we know. Huge fish. That's a huge fish. It wouldn't even fit the measuring board. <laughs> uh, but it's really tricky. But now we're heading back to where we were yesterday. Go! Go, go, go! Go, 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 go! So it's a late start for the fly guys, and that will bring them more fishing time in the evening instead, since the teams only have 10 hours of fishing per day. Next team to hit the water is Team Fox Rage Salmo, who have also decided to save a few hours for the evening fishing. This is how we measure the wind, so that's a good typical <laughs> Dutch weather. <laughs> so we're gonna drive uh, like, I don't know, 10, 10 15 minutes uh, to Vincent's uh, spots and uh, make the first cast then. It will be like uh, 10 o'clock, I think, so we can fish up until uh, 8. Hold school, hold school, hold school. See? Check out that one on the behind. Grab that one, grab that one. Lower it down. See? Here it there is. Lure it to me, lure it to me. Yeah, can see it? There it goes. Okay, you got the attention. Nice. Flip it. <laughs> Had a whole school of fish following, and I told Ever to flip out his jig next to mine when I brought it in. And this is how we roll. We bag them. Two at a time. Fish on. Pointers. Nice double by Adam and Evert. Those are two super beautiful perch. When you're fishing with lures that imitate small bait fish, you basically attract all kinds of fish who wants to prey on small bait fish, which sporting now experiences. <laughs> oh, it's a nice one. <laughs> oh yeah, wow. This is a uh, pretty decent pike. I think it's almost one meter or something. <laughs> That's fun on perch stuff. That's a nice one. Ay, 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 ay. Pike knuckles. Pike knuckles, baby. <laughs> on the J bump, brown shiner. Nice fish, huh? I think you need to change hook after that one. When we pull a fish like this, there's a kind of a special timing when we fish together. We go really fast. And in fact, I'm casting when he's at uh, alpha visit retrieve. So like this, we cover every inch of water. We cross our lines, but never really fish the same water. And it's very important that you, when you fish with your buddy, power fishing like this really fast in the wind, that you calculate this to be efficient. We fish an uh, underwater uh, dam. There's a stretch of uh, rocks, really, really shallow, something like 10, 20 centimeters. Uh, and when the, f when the big sheep is passing, 
it's create a big opportunity because it's flashing water over the pier and back again. And uh, while this uh, sudden stream is created, uh, there's a lot of food moving around. And very often it's small peak of activity, but very often we have to be very, very careful at that special moment because we're gonna have probably some bite there. Fish on. I'm here, I'm here. Oh, Sander. <laughs> Uh, anyway, ah, nice fish. It's a pike perch. <laughs> <laughs> crank baiting. A shadow crank bait on the rocks. A nice zander. Not the right species, but always cool. Up. <laughs> Quick release. Yeah. Hey. Come yeah. on. In in the drop. Yeah, me too. Here we go. We are just... Oh shit, mine is a giant. No, it's a pike. It's a fucking... Oh, it's a big pike. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is a big pike. <laughs> like really big? Yeah, like, I think it's big. It went like, <laughs> I hooked a log, like, wee. <laughs> Look, oh, it was a pike that took the perch. That explains why. So I was casting out, retrieving, having like three or four strikes, and then I set the hook on one fish, fight it for like two seconds, then a giant pike came and took the perch. So, oh, here's a nice one. Uh, this is a nice one. Either how, I just lost a pike under the boat. It was maybe seven, eight kilos, like a meter fish. It came up a small perch. Yeah! <sighs> New color, vampire, point fish. All right. You need these. These are really good. We will start our second day of the Perch Pro. Are you ready? Oh, you make your first cast. I <laughs> okay, we will start now. Hopefully we, we can find them and go for the big fish point. So we, we start with uh, Zatera, which is quite protected from the current. So the idea is to, to test as many uh, uh, spots with different features as possible. Some with current, the rocky um, stuff, rocky points, all the, the different stuff, bridge piles. So we, we will try to uh, figure out what kind of spot uh, is good for the fish. So that's, uh, that's the point. Yeah. A little bit They're better. All in the corner, eh? Yeah, this one is better. Yeah, be ready. It's way better. Wait, 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 wait. Now it's Oh, asp. shit, it's an asp. <laughs> okay. So that was not that was not really a winning change because this one is an ass, but it could have been a, a good perch. That's a pity, but it's always it's a fish, so I like it. Not exactly what as what I was uh, looking for. Well, obviously it's not a perch, but that's always nice to to catch a fish like that. I like it. For God's sake, guys! Now it's enough with all these non-striped strange species. Cool-looking fish, though. Well done, Sylvan. I guess this is not a perch. I hope it is. <laughs> Some weight to that one. I think this might be bigger than your last. <laughs> Could be. Oh. Another big pike on the hook for team sporting. Come on, Stefan. This is perch pro, not fly versus jerk. I don't have time for you, my friend. Yeah! Ouch! Another nice one on the G bump. A little bit smaller than the other one. There you go. And now the perch is gone. Now the perch is gone. Net, net, net. This is the biggest. Oh, no, no. Well, I don't know, but it's a big fish. Maybe not the biggest. It's not a 40 fish? No, no, not even close. It's not, I think it's about 35. So we're gonna make the report in just a while. It's the 10 o'clock report. And we're on to our school of fish. Herbert is hammering them with the top water. And I'm fishing the edge here of the 
of the beds with uh, a piglet chat. So hopefully we'll get one more fish. Nope, we did not. Thirty-five Five. on the cheddar bait. Yeah, cool. The second hour we have forty-eight plus uh, twenty-eight. That's uh, that's seventy-six. If we get one hundred forty at lunch and can get two hundred quicker today than yesterday, we're gonna yeah. search different yeah. areas for bigger fish. We're gonna go in and crank fishing in smaller bays and stuff to see if we can find some bigger fish. They, we we'll see how it goes. For now, we're hammering point, uh, numbers to get that point. So it's the 10 o'clock report. Yep. Ebert is hooking them up. You need the net, sir. Tell me if there's followers and I'll shove my jig in there. In just a moment. It's a 30. But it's a point fish and it's on top holder again. Strike Pro Walker did it again. And that's all from Team Catch With Care. Yeah, fish on. Fish? Uh, yeah, but... Ah. Oh! I took it. Yep! Hoo hoo hoo! I think we get rid of that 30 maybe. Maybe one or more centimeters more. 32. Yes! Fun to catch. Let's release this one and get a bigger one. Bye bye! Ooh. You make me wet. When there's so much wind like this, we use uh, a lot Everything that got a blade uh, it can be uh, chatter bait, spinner bait, Texas flash like this, or uh, Texas hook with a blade under. Uh, he's using a Dera coupe. Um, flashing on a windy day, some metallic flash. It's always a, a good thing to use to search for your fish. I changed also to the chatter bait so then and. After my first oh, you cast, put the chat as well. Yes, also. <laughs> I was changed also and yeah, I caught the spurts, a little one in my first cast, so it's a good option for today I think. Yes. Fish? Yes. Spurts? Yeah. Cool. Yes. Again on the cheddar bait? Yeah. Yes. Again not huge but No, okay, but well that's a river perch. You know, same exact, same kind of spot. The current going this way, a rock, um, I mean, a stony part, and behind the, sto the stony yeah. part. That's same spot, same technique, same fish. Should be 35, something like that. Oh no, 34. 34, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Again, on the chatterbait. That's a lure I like to uh, do some power fishing, to cover a lot of water. It does fish a little bit like a crankbait because you feel the vibrations. Uh, it, it, it's also uh, a very um, uh, noisy in the water. So in kind of muddy water like that with um, gray weather, waves and everything, I like to get uh, such kind of lure. And the difference with a crankbait, you can give some depth when, uh, when needed. So you can let it fall in one, two, three, four meters when, when needed. It's not the case here because we are fishing between one and, and two, but you can pose, and when you pose, you take some depth. That's the main difference with a crankbait. That's a per that's a good perch. Woohoo! Yeah, Sylvain is on fire. <laughs> it's not big again, but thirty-five also. Thirty-five. Little perch. Good job. Thank you. This could be 40. Yep, this is way over 40. On the red ghost. Yes. Oh, he's, yes, he's 40. Let's get her back. The first 40 of the day. Bye-bye. Maybe I should join Fly versus Jerk. We'll have a good chance. Oh, this is a nice one. <laughs> Oh shit. Here we go again. Oh man. It's a freaking show. It's a life on Earth. If it would have been uh, pike fishing, that would have uh, been a pretty good catch. But right now it's just uh, wasting our time. Oh. That's a real 
106 centimeter. This is the third of the day. <laughs> Trey is insane this. I will try also in this spot a popper. Yeah, they yeah, are here. Maybe yeah, we yeah. have to try it. Yeah, because it's uh, even not a meter yeah. deep. So yeah, yeah. Good idea. I will start with the brand new popper from Salmo. They call them the Fury Pop. We have also here the same uh, spot as where, as where we caught the, the other perches. And I will give it a try and hopefully we can get some perch. So. I give it a try and hopefully. Yeah! Oh, I missed! Oh, don't oh. strike, don't strike. It was a good choice. I know, but Didn't don't strike. Off. Hopefully the next cast. Yeah, wait for it to, yes, yes, to yes. add some weight on the... What a bite! <sighs> don't watch it. <laughs> don't strike. Top water action right away for Fox Raid Salmo team. Really cool. So we, we missed uh, four, so I went for a popper as well. Same color as, as Vincent. First cast, one fish. So I c just can't wait to cast it again. It was, it was of course too small, but that's a pity because the other ones were uh, sizable. So we'll catch some better ones, I'm sure. I think the orange belly is, belly is also good when it's cloudy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, Same. fish on. There are small ones. No? Yeah, small one. I think for now, uh, when I'm looking to the sky, it's, it's cloudy. Yes. Yeah. I think it's most important thing to do, uh, what we have to do now is to choose a lure with the orange belly. I think it's sizable. Not. It's not. Fish on the Fury Pop again. Awesome, ladies and gentlemen. So this one is probably sizable, 33. I think it's too small to get that top water uh, point, but that's a good start. As we have now clearly identified where they are, because we have repeated it on three spots. First with chatterbait to find them, and then we slow down, we find the spot, and we fish with popper to try to get a top water point. Good job. <laughs> We'll catch better ones, but I think as long as the current will be that way, they will be at the same place and we have three uh, main spots with the same, uh, same style. So if we repeat the technique on those spots, we will catch 100%. So we move to the first spot to repeat the topwater action and try to get uh, a good fish. Now there are many teams changing their top water point. Really cool. The top water war is officially on. This can be a yeah. big fish. Okay. This can be. Lift, 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 lift. The it's 40 fish. Maybe, maybe. It, we hope it's a 40. This can be close. But look, the size. Really nice. New topwater top fish by CWC fishing team. A beautiful 40 centimeter warrior on a Strike Pro Walker. We're halfway into the tournament and so far this is the biggest one caught on a topwater lure. This might be a very important fish. <laughs> <laughs> Your perch, good sir. Finally, a new personal best. They took it really hard. And again, Strike Pro Walker. I think it's the best topwater lure for big fish. I improve it every day with one centimeter, but this fish makes me really, really happy. Thanks for netting it, my friend. No problem. We'll do a quick release. <laughs> do, <laughs> do, uh, Fucking eye, man, fucking eye. Okay, Fred, let's do the 11 o'clock hour report. Yes. That's so right, we two fish more. Five fish in total and 111 centimeters in total of 
top three fish. But Fred, you know, the next hour we need two really big fish. Yep. Let's do it. 40 plus or nothing. Yep. Hello, Mr. Reindeer. Bye bye, Mr. Reindeer. That's how far up north we are. There are almost more reindeer than people up here. It's going to be fun to do the lunch report. We'll have zero fish and uh, that might confuse the other guys. Hopefully. I think we have moved to Lithuania or something. Yeah. So shake we them a bit. So we have a boogie boogie and so we have a ring. So go we run the ring. Yeah. Perch number 100. As always, on the Gunky G bump. Letting go back, and we need to catch 100 more. Oh, good topwater strike on the popper. That could be an asp or something, but that could be also a big perch. I don't know, watch, watch the net. Oh, oh that's awesome. a fucking asp. On the popper, man. Oh. Good, key, good, uh, good strike on the popper. Yeah. Look, the popper is gone. <laughs> it's a perch with no stripes, so maybe it counts. We, we must uh, call uh, Pontus and see what we can do with that. <laughs> All good? So when the water is a little bit choppy, even a, a lot choppy, uh, you need to make some noise to attract the fish. So this popper did a good job for, for the ass and, uh, and for nice perch. So keep making some, uh, some noise. Hey, we finally arrived a bit later than planned, but on the other hand, we're in no hurry, actually. So we'll just fish a little bit longer tonight. It's a lot windier today. A little bit cloudy, we'll see. Uh, also different wind direction. It's blows, blowing from the southwest. Have that put pump or not? Har du inte i pluggen? Bort pluggen. But fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Den ska upp igen. Ja, den måste fan upp igen. First fail. Just pull it. Well, the good thing was that uh, we found out in time. <laughs> There's some water in there. Okay, let's try again. That's a good perch, really good perch on the popper. Look. He's in the net. All good. Another perch on the furry pup from Salmo. Um, I don't think it will uh, improve our top water catch. Should be about the same, 33, something like that. But uh, well, it's encouraging because we have been uh, we have been fishing somewhere else to to let this uh, spot pause a little bit. And when we came back, I anchored a little bit further. First cast, boom. So I think the second cast will bring uh, one fish as well. That's a 33, 34. Ah! Yoo -hoo. That's the one we need. Yes! That's the one we need! Oh. Boom! <laughs> ah. Yes! <laughs> that's the size we lose in the morning on top water. Man, that's a big Look one. Look at this one. Wow, that's a chunky perch. Well done, Mark. With a length of 45 centimeter, it's the biggest fish caught by any of the teams so far for today. And it gives Elix Ganki a top three length of 124 centimeters. That's impressive. Okay, so let's release her quick. Big fish just a couple minutes before yes. the phone report. So now it's gonna be excited what the other yeah. teams have. And that's the last report after we go blind. Yeah. But uh, we did a good job. Yeah, I think Two so. fish over 40. Yeah. And we can evacuate the smallest yeah. still. Yeah. So if we get uh, another 45 this afternoon, yeah. I think, I think for the day we can. Not doing bad. We can be satisfied. And Already six, six fish. Six fish. Yeah. And let's catch the last one on top water. <laughs> um, <laughs> concerned about Sylvain. Yeah. Uh, is in the river as well. Yeah. But the other guys, uh, you know, yesterday 120 at the midday report yeah. was reachable for yeah. them. 
So we never know. It's, yeah. We are not in the safe zone. No, not now. Not yet. <laughs> I think we can't compete with the number with uh, Sporting, for instance, so it's out of order. Um, we got our average is still low. We had fun, that was cool, but the, the average is low. So I think we, we don't have any points. Um, I think the Swedish uh, guys would have an average above 40, same as yesterday. Yes, they, yes, I think also. They should be probably on the same lake. Yeah. I think it will be kind of the same like yesterday. Uh, CVC will catch more fish and the three rest of the team will go for big ones in. Yeah. So uh, Vision could catch some big, big large perch up there, way up in the north. If and they are, have, we think they yeah, could catch some 50s. Some re fi really big fishes and both the, both uh, Gunky Elex and Fox Rage Salmo can, both of them are in waters where there's a lot of, lot of giant fish swimming around so it'll be fun to see if they can catch a real big one but we'll see how it goes i think that vision stepped up today maybe in numbers if they have this wind we're having yeah. they're tangling <laughs> <laughs> this is not <laughs> did you think <laughs> this is not fly fishing weather no nope. and i think that Gunky will have the big fish point. I think so too. But I think they have like well, two you big ones. You know what? Let's make the call and yeah. find out. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 12 o'clock and it's time for the third and final phone report of the competition. After this, the team will fish in the dark and won't know the results of the other teams until they watch these episodes on YouTube, like you guys. This time, teams will not only give up their biggest fish, length, etc. They will also give up location and water bodies. Time to call them? Yeah. Let's do it. Hi, you guys. This is CWC Fishing Team. We have the total amount in numbers of 48. 48 in numbers. Our total length is 1 meter 19, 1 meter 19. And we are fishing a river system in the northern part of Sweden. Hey, this is Sylvain from uh, Fox Rage and Salvo team. We are fishing a river in the south of Holland. Uh, we got 15 fish and the average of the three biggest one is 107. Hello, this is uh, Christian from Team Sporting. We have a number point of uh, 126 and uh, the top three is 119. And we are fishing a semi-big lake in the northern part of Sweden. Uh, hello, it's Frederick for Gunki Dex. So we have a total amount of uh, six fish. We fish in uh, East Holland in the river system and uh, we have a top three of 124 centimeters. Okay everybody, this is Daniel from Vision Fly Dressing. We have a total amount of zero fish with a total length of zero kilometers. And we are fishing a small lake in northern Sweden. Okay, thank you guys. Keep, keep hammering. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck to all. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Vision zero? So, vision zero. Yeah, but uh, two hours ago they, are, they were in bed. I saw a picture on Instagram. Oh, so okay. I think they are yeah. still sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe not on the water yet. So it's, it's normal for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Well, well. vision uh, zero fish, but I don't know what, what's happening there, but those guys. Are, I think I know what's happening there. <laughs> They're tangled. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh, man. I wish them all the best of luck. Now, vision, go, 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 vision. Flug, fiska. Well, that's encouraging. Yeah, yeah, well, I think we can take sporting on numbers <laughs> easily. <laughs> <laughs> so, CWC, yep. 48, yep. 119, yep. that's beatable. Yep. A gunky, six fish, 124. Yeah. Fox Rage, 15 and 107. Yes. And Sporting is 126 <laughs> and about 119 yeah. centimeters. Okay. So, th the number to beat right now is 124 centimeters. Yes. 
We are holding the point, <laughs> man. <laughs> For now. But yeah, but uh, you know, they are in the same rate, catching rate, yeah. so they top. Yeah. At the same, uh, with the same big fish but as yesterday. Sporting with the numbers is again far up. And vision. Yeah, but yeah, maybe from they, what we know, yeah. they were quite late, so they're going to be late tonight. Yeah. Watch out. Forks 15 fish. Yeah. But 107. Same problem as yesterday. Yeah. They don't found the big one. Yeah. So we have to beat uh, Team Elex. Absolutely. Yeah. We need 40... with an average of 40. 41. 41. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's possible. So let's do it yeah. now. Yes. So, a few more numbers to feel uh, safe and then we will start searching for bigger fish. But I don't think anyone will come close to our 126. No. no. Keep watching. Next week we will take this. So Fred, this was the last phone report. Yeah, we go blind from now on. No blind from now on. I don't worry, we're gonna make it. Yeah, that's the fun part now. Yeah. We are really <laughs> blind, we don't know. We just guess. <laughs> so we give it all, catch 350, yeah, and we're done. Okay, let's do it. Rock and roll! The official uh, bump. <laughs> the fish bump. Yeah. Wow, we're halfway into the competition so far, and Team Sporting are clearly in the lead when it comes to the number point with 126 perch over amazing 30 centimeters. That's insane after not even four hours of fishing. And when it comes to the top three length, Ilex Gunky are in the lead with 124 centimeters. A good result. But they cannot feel too safe with most of the other teams going for the big fish. The biggest topwater fish so far was 40 centimeters, caught by CWC fishing team. A good fish, but once again, far from impossible to beat for the other teams. This means that the Vision Fly Dressing have zero points. Elix Ganki have two points. CWC Fishing Team have one point. Team Sporting have two points. And Fox Raid Salmo have zero points. My name is Juan Rue and you're watching Perch Pro 5. You